Hey, hey everyone, it's Tuesday and that means it's time for my weekly video. I'm still sort of getting used to being back here. Uh, and this week I've got a stunner. Yeah, you can be like, Paul, you've gone crazy, you're mad, you're mad, but hey, these are crazy times, folks, and all kinds of things are happening, can happen, and are going to continue to happen, in my opinion. Speaking of which, let's do the quick disclaimer. Whatever I'm saying, not investment advice. All the content from ATG Digital Media, my company, also not investment advice. Information, engagement, opinion, entertainment for some of you. All right. Yeah, I know. Some of you have a good laugh watching some of my videos, and I encourage that. Past performance does not equal future results. Errors, mistakes, oversights, yeah, they happen. We try our best, but still, stuff like that can happen. Capital loss is a likely outcome. Listen, folks, uh, there are no guarantees in life. And so when you put on a trade, speculation, buy an investment, loss is one of the outcomes that you should consider. I, the owners, contractors, employees, associates of ATG Digital Media, own, trade, transact in the investments that are mentioned in this video. You know, updates, obviously the model portfolios, the Substack, Twitter, pretty much any content, folks. Yeah, we know that applies. Um, quick plug before I get on to this week's video, atgdigital.media, that's the website uh, to go. We have subscriptions that begin at $9.99. You want to check me out for free, paulmanpilly.substack.com. Put this up for a second so you can see it. <clears throat> All right, so this week's video is crazy, crazy. I really debated a few times before thinking like, okay, I'm gonna go with this because some of you are like, Paul, you've lost it. You're not, this is not serious, but okay. Here's, here's, here's what I'm thinking, all right? Then stick with me, right? First of all, no one would have really even, let's say two years ago, imagined that Elon Musk would go and spend $45 billion on Twitter. He sold Tesla stock to buy Twitter, right? So that's, crazy thing that happened that actually happened <clears throat> number one right and if you go back to that time he's on record as saying like hey well you know my plan with twitter is actually to actually implement what i originally wanted to do all the way back in like 1998 which you know today we remember as paypal but the truth is as is that you know, he started this X.com back then, and the goal was to take over banking and to take over finance and to have this super app, the super app, the super app. And who would have imagined that, like, yeah, you're going to dump the Twitter bird? You're going to dump the Twitter name and you're going to rebrand this X? Yeah, I mean, so crazy thing number two has happened. In other words, Elon Musk took 45 million, bought Twitter. Everyone thought that they were he was buying it for Twitter. Turns out that he wanted, he had like a bigger vision of X.com. And I get it. Some people of you hate Twitter. Some people hate Elon. Hate Elon. I get all that. Obviously, this video is not for you. Uh, you know, I've got a number of other videos and there's obviously other channels that you can watch. But if you are following what is going on, X.com is setting itself up to be what, you know, people refer to as a super app. And a super app, just for those of you who don't know, is something that obviously has payments, it has your banking, it has your ID information, obviously has messaging, and it's a lot like what, you know, uh, WeChat is in China. I've never been to China, but I understand from people who have been there that essentially if you do not have a WeChat ID and not connected everything with it, you essentially can't do anything. You can't pay for anything. You can't use anything. And yeah, I, I get that, you know, there's people like, Paul, that would be terrible. We don't want that here. Listen, it's a free country here and nobody's going to be forced to do it. So it's a little bit different. But there are folks that really can you know, look at our current world. Like, I mean, I, I'm just trying to think, how many apps do I have on my phone? I mean, it must be over 100. 
And it would definitely be a good thing, in my opinion. I understand some folks might disagree. And like I said, you don't have to keep watching this video. Uh, for us to consolidate some of this, I mean, I've got at least 12 fintech apps, you know, from brokers to banks. And I mean, I've got, I don't know how many messaging apps. And I've got actually even a couple of like, you know, identification apps, you know, one that the IRS will likes. And then, you know, there's another one that, you know, somebody else likes. I mean, it would be pretty nice if everything were like together and you trusted that. But there's one thing that that super app, let's say, you know, that's what Elon Musk and X eventually becomes. Imagine it's successful. They need a currency. They need a currency. You know what I'm thinking, right? Elon, what's 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 the currency he's most associated with? Cryptocurrency, I mean. Well, it's Dogecoin. I mean, he was buying Dogecoin really early because folks, young engineers at SpaceX were like, hey, we all own this and you should support this. And so he decides... You know, it's like he's going to buy some of it. And he was buying it really early. So he must have, I don't know, hundreds of millions of dollars in Dogecoin. So going along with this idea that like, well, crazy thing number one happened, which is that Elon goes and buys Twitter. No one would have imagined that. I mean, that was, you know, suggested as a joke on Twitter. And then that happens then no one takes Elon seriously when he's like, you're, you excuse me, wait, you're going to spend $45 billion by Twitter. And then you're going to go back to a plan that you originally came up with in 1998. Yeah, no one, no, I mean, no one actually thought when he first said he was going to change it to X that, that he was serious. So <clears throat> What's Elon said about Dogecoin? He's like, well, the most entertaining outcome is the most likely outcome. And hey, why not give it a few pushes in that direction? So if X is going to become this super app, you don't need a currency for payments in between, you know, folks within the app. Uh, right now, it might be something, you know, where you use it for content creators, you know, encourage people to use Doge. And once it's used on x.com, which has, I understand, 500 million people on it, well, people will naturally start to exchange currency between themselves uh, within X, and then soon people outside of it will want it, no different than any other currency. I mean, truthfully, no one could imagine today that you could go to pretty much every country around the world and use US dollars. I mean, I was just in Southeast Asia and I can tell you every country there that I was in, it was Singapore, Cambodia, Vietnam, you could use US dollars. So once something gets used, um, more and more people accept it. I told you when I began this video, it's a crazy idea, but listen, we're in a time when a lot of different things are unfolding and happening that people say, well, I could never happen. And the idea that Dogecoin could become obviously the major currency of x.com, I would say that, you know, that's a pretty good likelihood. And if it became that, between Elon's name, Tesla's fame, uh, x getting, you know, more and more traction uh, with, with groups of people, well, Doge very naturally would go along with it. And if that happened, what would happen to Doge? Well, from what, seven, eight cents, the natural place for Doge to arrive at would be certainly in the US be $1. Would be different things around the world, but $1 would be what? 10, 12 times that. 12 times where it currently sits today. So that's a huge, massive gain uh, for anyone that owns it. Now I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to happen. I'm not saying it's certain, but I mean, Doge was already at 70 cents. It wasn't that long ago. So is it really such a reach to say that it could get to $1. Yeah, I don't think so, especially when you've got so many more things that have happened, which is that obviously Twitter got bought by Elon, Twitter got turned into X. Uh, Elon has said that he wants to turn X into this super app, which could be you know something that's used for everything. 
Well, in my judgment, the way to bet on this super app, buy Doge. All right. That's my video for this week. Thanks for coming. Watch this. Come back next week. This is Paul saying bye. Thank you.